Welcome to Mediocre Gaming, and today we're playing Deep Rock Galactic. Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm Zarel. Let's get to it. All right, so today we're doing the Deep Dive, Elite Deep Dive, excuse me, Mythic Keep. But before we get to that, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and ring that bell to be notified of all future episodes as soon as they go live. So let's get into it. First stage of the Deep Dive has Elite Threats which means that you have random enemies that are going to pop up uh, that are going to be more boss-like. They're going to hit harder. Uh, they're going to have more hit points. They're going to move just a little bit faster. So those should be uh, relatively rare, 10% uh, or less of the total bugs that you're going to see. And you're going to be collecting a quarks and one black box. The quarks, you're just going to look for that blue specks on the wall that kind of glow. Dig in the spot. Uh, until you find the little glowy uh, crystal or big glowy crystal and then bring it back to the rig uh, since there's no mule on the stage. Now as you know the deep dive is a three stage raid like environment and the elite deep dive is uh, you know kind of the hazard 4 hazard 5 uh, type level uh, in terms of difficulty. So the black box is a control zone. Uh, you have to repair it, and then you just have to control that zone uh, until the meter goes all the way up. The more people that are within the bubble, the faster it'll go. So having all four of your teammates in that bubble is going to make it go uh, complete the quickest. Now, one of the ways that you can do this relatively easily uh, relatively, I, I should say, is if you have your driller dig a hole underneath it, uh, so then there's only one direction that you can get attacked from. But you can do it however you want, and uh, as long as you're able to complete it, that's the big thing. Hopefully you have different jobs, especially, uh, you know, a engineer, so you can have the turrets, uh, and a gunner so that you can have a shield. At least for the black box, those are probably the more important jobs in terms of the overall stages. It's good to have all the jobs. Now once you get the black box plus all the quirks, you can call in the drop pod. Now because it's a point extraction stage, you will have to wait two minutes before it arrives. And there's going to be swarms of glyphids or bugs that are going to be popping up. So keep your eyes open and your head on a swivel. Once the countdown gets to zero, it's going to drop in. And then you just make a beeline for that drop pod and get out. Uh, things like grabbers are going to be uh, trouble for you and your teammates. So make sure that you take care of them if at all possible. If they're the elite threat, of course, it's going to be a little bit harder to take them out uh, since they do have extra life or extra health that you have to take care of. Uh, once again, if you have a driller, the driller can make a beeline, a straight line, just dig straight to uh, wherever the drop pod happens to be and, and make that part of it at least. Uh, a little bit easier but that's it uh, stage one in the bag hopefully it wasn't too difficult the elite deep dive is one of if not the most uh, difficult activity that you're going to do in deep rock galactic now the reason of course to do the deep dive any deep dive is for those matrix cores all right, stage two of the deep dive has parasites as a modifier, and you're going to be getting or mining Markite and taking out one Dreadnought. Dreadnoughts, of course, are the bosses of Deep Rock Galactic. They have different phases. Uh, you have to work a little bit different strategy than normal. Uh, there's usually an invulnerability stage, uh, shielding, 
and of course damage phase. So once he's uh, no longer invulnerable, you can you know take down the shields or make it available to take down the shields, and then once the shields are down, you do as much damage as possible before uh, he goes invulnerable once again. Whatever strategy you have to you know stay away from him and be able to do damage to take the shields down, that's up to you. Now, once you take care of the Dreadnought, then all you have to do is get the Morkite. Uh, do be on the lookout for both Gold and Nitra, especially Nitra, because you're going to need it for all of the bugs that are going to be coming after you on this and every stage in the deep dive. Now, once you have everything, you can call in the drop pod and just make your way out uh, as quickly as possible. You can either, once again, have the driller do a straight line straight to the drop pod, or you can follow the mule out. Or if you kind of know the pathing, uh, which direction to go, you can go ahead and do that as well. Uh, and just kind of... So whether you are following the mule or whether you know where the drop pod is and get to it, all you really need to do is uh, you know take out bugs as you're going along so that uh, you don't die in the interim uh, while you're trying to get out. If you get there before the mule, then you just have to uh, survive, kind of protect the area around the drop pod for you and your teammates. If you're following the mule, then you have to, of course, uh, look out for bugs on your way back and then make your way to the drop pod uh, as quickly as possible because every moment that you're outside the drop pod is either you know, a few bullets or whatever that you're going to need or use in order to stay alive and get out. Now it's a good point time to point out that everything carries over from one stage to the next. That is uh, includes the gold that you've collected, the nitra, anything that's in your pockets, as well as your health and ammo, which also includes your grenades and traversal tools. So whatever you have is going to carry over from one stage to the next. So if you're not able to, because everything's a little crazy uh, around the drop pod or uh, you know, you're not able to deposit in the mule before the drop pod's called in. You can go ahead and just hold that in your pocket until the next stage. And then you can drop it into the mule or rig, whatever the case may be, on the next stage. Uh, the only time you really have to worry about it is if you're on the last stage. And even then, you're probably not that concerned if you're holding on to some nitra. Now, uh, parasites, as you know, uh, whenever you kill a bug, there'll be a little parasite that comes out and they'll start attacking you. So it's best to be aware of that so you can take care of them either with your pickaxe or with your gun. Alright, and that's it for stage two. Almost done. Now hopefully you've got plenty of nitra stored up so that you can call in resupply pods on the final stage. Final stage has two modifiers, volatile guts, which means all the bugs explode once they're killed, uh, which works both ways for and against you, and then exploder infestation. So you're going to see lots and lots of exploders. So once again, you're going to want to keep your head on a swivel so that you can be on the lookout for those exploders. Uh, if they get close to you, then you're in trouble. Uh, they do make a sound right before they explode, uh, so you can mitigate at least some of the damage while you're doing the last stage of the deep dive. Now this stage has you doing alien eggs so, of course, you're going to uh, be looking on the train scanner to see where those alien eggs are. 
uh, if you have ch a chance in between uh, taking out those exploders that are going to be coming after you and then of course a black box which is just another zone control so hopefully like I said you have plenty of nitro so you'll have plenty of ammo uh, to deal with the bugs on the stage now additionally every egg that you collect uh, or dislodge from the wall you have a chance of uh, creating a swarm uh, for some reason the bugs don't like it when you take their eggs so I would say uh, maybe 50% uh, possibly a little bit higher because you're in the elite deep dive but once you have the six eggs and you've taken care of the black box then you're ready to get out and it is the last part of the deep dive so that you can collect your rewards at the end and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check us out on social media. And thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And we'll see you next time. Here, get into cover. and ready. Explosives, flags! Some of the ammo. Feeling yeah. better now. Sweet. Lock and load it. Find the nitro for ammo. I was made for mining. Molly was meant for hauling what I mine. Okay. 
shot. Hold on to your gizzards, team. Swarm incoming. I made a platform. Access provided. One sentence on ready to be built. Pass your expiration date. Swarm, they're here. Lie down forever. This might send the beard or two. Keep it together. 